up the shoes before you step into my bro. I buy some shit and I take it up places she never would go. They know, they hey know, they welcome know. Welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Anitra. Y'all, I haven't. This is the first day that I've picked up this camera all week because my eyebrows look so gross because they've been peeling. And today was the first day that I was able to um, wash them. So the place that I go to, they don't want you to get your brows wet. They don't want you to do anything to them for a week. So I had to let them just pretty much do their thing. Now, they are still peeling. They still look disgusting. Um, and because I couldn't get them wet, I couldn't wash my face. Um, I could wash my face. But I couldn't wash the area that has the breakout or the outbreaks of my subordinate dermatitis i couldn't wash that area scrub them but it's still peeling like you can still see y'all see how my skin looks right up in here so i washed it with my candida soap and then tonight what i'm gonna do because it is so bad i'm going to use my tea gel shampoo on the brows and up in here and let it sit on there for a couple of minutes so we can get this under control um so yeah, that's why I haven't picked up this camera because my eyebrows look so nasty. Ugh, okay, look. so this Mother's Day weekend as well. Y'all, when I got off work yesterday, I was like, you know what? Remember I was saying I was going to go and make my own bouquet and stuff? Shout out, I don't feel like doing it. I don't. So what I'm going to do, what I wanted to do yesterday after work was go buy the flowers, but I ain't did nothing. I went home after work. I've just been engulfed in watching like news about what's going on in Florida and it is just sad. I cannot believe that this is the world that we live in. I just can't believe that somebody actually voted for DeSantis first of all, then voted for whatever this this bill. Like did you read? Did you actually take the time to read the bill before you voted on that? And if you did vote on it, do you know how it's going to affect Florida's economy? Like, it is very sad. The people that it is affecting right now, they are leaving the state of state of Florida. I was about to say California. They are leaving the state of Florida right now because July will be here before you know it. And it's affecting the construction of homes or construction period. It's affecting their crops. It is affecting the tourism is affecting um hotels it's affecting a lot of things and i'm like i don't think these whoever voted for that really thought this thing through because at the end of the day the republicans are you going to get out there and and pick the crops are you going to be the one that doing the construction like did you want that job i'm sure you could have had it well now you can really have it i don't it's a lot of stuff going on in the world and let me tell you something um small things that go on with other people affect me i get affected by it it makes me sad so then i'm like <laughs> engulfed in it and it affects my mood it affects everything so i've been just watching this stuff and you know we have the shootings like the shootings that we're going to, like the shooting in texas in allen texas these shootings are just becoming more and more and more and more. And it's just sad. It's just sad. We live in a, a terrible place, you guys. The world that we live in is a sad, sad place. I need to go to CVS as well because I put in my prescription for my, my I keep wanting to say my gyro. For, I'm going to go this way. For my, um... What is it called? Wagovi 2.4. Um, so yeah, you guys, I need to really get I, I, I need to really get on my shit night because so you know how you know what you need to do, right? But you just don't do it. Remember I was saying I, I need to focus on eating. I still I'm still I'm still not 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 fully eating. I'm eating freaking popsicles. You, can, I can't survive on a popsicle, especially with all the damn sugar. But this is what I'm surviving on. You know what I mean? This is what I'm surviving on. So I'm now I'm not even getting the nourishment I, I need. <laughs> but I'm. I, it's like I know what I need to do. I know what I need to do, and it's like I'm not doing it. 
something is really going on with me actually let me be honest with you i haven't been really going to my therapy appointments because sometimes i don't feel like talking but i need to see my therapist because child i am literally my brain is on the moon somewhere it's not here with me okay so back to this foolishness that's going on in florida child i stopped and got me an iced coffee did you see you see <laughs> You see, mind you, it's 11:30. Nitra, have you eaten? Have you, have you eaten a meal? No, but you're gonna have iced coffee. <sighs> do they have this freeway closed off? I should have went the other damn way. They sure do. Damn, I'm gonna have to probably bust a you when I. Mmm. Yeah, me. Oh, that's good. It's almost like, well, it is not almost like it's, it's legal racial profiling. So people that have vacations planned to go to Florida have canceled their vacations, have canceled their vacations um, because either they are undocumented and they just don't want to be bothered or the hotels cannot accommodate them or they just are standing for what's right, you know? So, um, when people on TikTok are saying they're canceling their Disney and their Universal passes, they won't be going back until they fix what's going on over there. Um, that's crazy. Like, y'all know. Y'all know that that's they, that, that is their bread and butter. But I know that he's been going back and forth with the Disney CEO for some months now. I don't really know the reasoning behind it. I don't know if he wants them to follow certain rules and regulations or I don't know. But what I do know is that DeSantis has signed that bill. Hey, Trader Joe's is looking like because of his packed here, I won't be going in. Okay. Huh? The parking lot don't well parking lot's packed, but it doesn't look like crowded like it's not a lot of people walking back and forth as it usually is well people walking out with flowers so they probably got extras Ooh. yeah yeah i don't understand the cutoff that you just did in front of that lady and then you still have to wait on these people to cross the street that was very much so unnecessary very much so okay girl she got her booty clackers on i heard that let me go in and get mines out. <laughs> Shoot. I'm about to start walking out here fast, real hard. You know, when you wear your booty clackers, you gotta walk kinda a certain kind of way. I love it. I love that for you, girl. It's 11. It's um, hi. I love when people smile at me. I love it. Come on. Come on. Bam, bam. Okay, so side note, some of you guys recommended Zilu or Zenny for my glasses, right? I used to buy my glasses from there and it was fine before I had progressive lenses because it was just one prescription. But now because I have progressive lenses, that's not the best option for me. The last time, the first year I had progressive lenses, the optometrist that I went to it was gonna be like $800. I was like, I think not. So I just went back to Zilu. I think it was Zilu. And I got my regular, you know, frames, but I could never, and I and I got the prescription, I got the prescription with the, the way they gave it to me, with the progressive lenses, but they weren't just quite right, right? I could never figure out how to do the progressive lens. Um, and they t they showed me how to do it when I was at the optometrist, how to really read with the progressive lens. And I could just never get it quite right. And I found out why when I went to the, the optometrist, the target optometrist, because I was like, I need to go to, to the optometrist because then I'm going to just pay the money because whatever I did, something's not right. And he explained it to me. So let me explain it to you. So pretty much when you have more than one prescription, <sighs> Or, just in general, he said that when you have a prescription, when you get it online, they are assuming that everybody wears their glasses on their face like this. Just like straight up on their face, no, it, like right here. No down, no nothing. I don't wear my glasses like that. I wear them like this. 
So when I got the prescription, yeah, the prescription was right. The progressive lens was right. But I, I don't wear my glasses like this. So I would have had to wear them like this for them to work. And I don't wear my glasses like that. So he says that there's different ways of people wearing their glasses in their face. And the websites don't don't take that into account. He said, now, when you have one prescription and it's all the same, then, yeah, it works fine. Because it doesn't matter where you wear them on your face. He said, but when you have progressive lenses, it matters. So that's why I have to go back to Target. And it's okay, girl. I'm just going... I have the glasses. I still, I'm still wearing them with the scratches and all. I mean, I can still see the scratches. Thank God are not right in the view of what I need to see. Like they're on the sides or like up here. So it's not that bad, but it just looks bad. So thank y'all for for um, um, recommending me go to Zilu or Zinni, but I just can't because the progressive lens won't be right like the the way that i wear my glasses it just won't be right and i refuse to wear my glasses on my face like this so that's why i know when i'm walking with this camera the camera be all over the place child i don't know how to keep it stable that's a cute little color okay so they have all these flowers out here let me get two of them so I gotta get one for my sister-in-law too because oh they're twenty dollars because um we're going to brunch tomorrow so I don't I don't want to get red I want to get this one's cute isn't it wait no I like this one the best let me get this yellow one these are different than the ones they usually have I want to get that one for my mom maybe I should get my sister-in-law a different one. I'm gonna go inside and see which ones they have first. Wish I get myself one too, huh? Damn. Okay. Let's go. Oh, it is hot. This weather is already starting, babe. It's already starting. Anyway, um, I was trying to vlog in there, y'all. My camera, I literally, I guess I had broke it. <laughs> I'm so rough. I literally broke the camera, I guess. Well, I guess I didn't because it's working now. But what I did was I wasn't able to, it was turning on, but it wasn't, the lens wasn't coming out. I had to Google how to, how to unstuck, stick the lens. Trader Joe's was the same as it usually is. Probably just more people in there buying more, buying, buying flowers more than anything. Um, but I picked up a couple of things. But can you guys believe that I didn't buy any mangoes? I'm off of mangoes. And I, I don't think that I'm... I think it's just the desire that I don't have the desire to eat them. So, why do I feel itchy all of a sudden? What the heck? Yeah, I'm not feeling the way my face looks at all. It looks so textured right up in here. So, I'm going to be doing some micro... Some, some work on it today. Because all of this texturedness... It's not a, it's a no for me. Then my eyebrows got flakes coming off, child. I don't want to peel it off because that's going to make it hurt, but I need to reduce the flakiness somehow, some way. I want to get a new toothbrush because my toothbrush I have it's soft, but it's entirely too soft. I feel like it don't clean my teeth. So we got cookies, Hallmark cards. I need that. Well, I guess I could buy a card. Um, five off thirty. Five off fifteen. None of these apply. I'm not buying thirty dollars worth of toothpaste stuff. Essie nail polish. Four off any red line. A dollar off any time. Ooh, all of these. Okay, let me just get a toothbrush. Just my regular toothbrush. You can tell that there's not any extra buck deals because they usually put them like right here where the prices are. So there's no deals. You get soft. This is best for your teeth. But for some reason, the, the one I have is just too soft. I just need a regular damn six, six, 
$6.50. I should have went in Target. I'm here to pick up my prescription, but I just wanted to get this to... Oh, it's hot today. Baby, I should have worn some um, shorts, but we have pants on. Hey, guys. Happy Mother's Day. I am on my way to pick up my mom. We are going to brunch. I have on the dress that I bought from... Um, Target uh, Future Collective. It's a Sammy B dress. I got it during the Black History Month situation. I cannot stand when motorcycles are so loud. Why would you want to? Do they wear earplugs? Because it's so loud. Anyway, I got on the dress. It's so cute, y'all. But um, <laughs> I, had to, I had to like take my boobs. I have never taken my boobs in my life. I don't know nothing about taping boobs. It just seems that my boobs are sagging more and more down to the ground. They're literally on my knees. Okay? Um, they are on my knees at this point. I ain't never had this situation. Now, y'all, I don't have that, that much boob coverage. I don't have that much boobage. Um, and so, I'll be the one where I don't wear a bra. Okay? I will not wear one. And that's probably why they're down to the ground at this point. Um, I just won't. What, what's the point? Especially if it's a dress that I really can't wear one. I'm not going to try to figure out the tape, the, the pasties. I'm not going to do none of that. I'm going to just go with what I know. But now, I just feel like my, 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 my I had to take my tits. My tits is like down, down. Now, I didn't even really have tape. I have, um, con, it's called keys, keys, kinesiology tape. I had some of that. So, I put it on over my nips and like Put this one over here and put this one over here, child. Hopefully it stay. Oh, I, I don't even know if they look flat in some areas and, and, and supple in others. But listen, I had to I had to do a situation with it because I can't wear a bra with this dress. This was a last minute reservation, so I kind of tried kind of had to get in where we could fit in somewhere because where I wanted to go, the reservations of course was they were gone, child. There was no time available. Not one, not one slot. Yeah. Call my mom. Hey Siri, call mom. Calling mom, mobile. Hello? I'm here. Okay, here I come. Okay, bye. Child, we running kind of late. This says we're going to get there at 2.38. Reservations at 2.45. Come on, mama. Let's go, girl. Come on, girl. Let's go. Child, I'm going to have to drive like a bat out of hell. What am I waiting on? Happy Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to I was you. like, somebody is slow. I'm going to have to drive like a bat out of hell. Oh. Why? Because we got reservations in like 20 minutes. Okay. Oh, thank so you. Okay. You get in the car. Let's push it. Let's push it. You rats? Huh? Yeah. You ready? Let's put your seatbelt on, please. I am. Thank you. Must be sports bras. They have zippers. Came in Lane Bryant. I've never been in Lane Bryant, but somebody told me that they have good bras. So here we are. I'm not talking. No, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> Wait. You know, it's hot out here. Okay. 42B. I'm looking for 38C. Do they have C's in here? They got to, right? 42 D's, double D's, triple D's. Mm -hmm. Maybe they don't. Okay, this one looks smaller. 
38 double D. I don't have a double D boob. Um, 42s. Oh, here goes 38 C. Right here. They are. They're on sale for $29, $29.50. Smooth bands, 30. Oh, they have B cups here. I would have never known. If y'all didn't say nothing, I would not have known. Okay, so I'm gonna try some balls on one. She gave me three. She gave me a C, two Ds, but I'm still a 38, so. She has such a bad take down job. <laughs> Okay, so she adjusted it. Y'all, this is a D. I ain't never been a D. But I think it feels it feels good. Cause I was like, I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for. My feet hurt. Um, so she gave me the C, but I tried from the D first. I wanted to see. Okay, I put this on just to see what it would look like. So my boobs are sitting now. They feel like they was just flopping and flipping, okay? Guys, I'm in the Ulta now. So these are some liquid blushes by a Juvia's Place that I wanted to try. I actually wanted to try this color, but it's sold out. So I'm going to see what this one looks on my hand. And then I'm even curious about this one too. These are the two colors. So this one right here is Barbie Rose. And I like, those are literally two small dots, not even a full. These are pigmented. And this one right here is the one on the left. I'm kind of leaning towards this darker one because the one I have I just got the other week a couple weeks ago is from Glossier and it's more of this it's more red but it's more on that side I don't know which one should I get I think I'm gonna try this one y'all why are the lighting keep changing I think I'm gonna try oh this is hard I think I'm gonna try this one a little goes a long way I will say that Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't got mad. I didn't got upset with the Steve Harvey show, okay? So I'm out the Ulta. I didn't drop my mom off. I bought her some makeup and um She wanted some makeup, so I bought, bought her some makeup. Damn, these rolls is ragged. So pretty much there they do like the the new let me get over because this roll uh, we ain't about to mess my tires up. So pretty much they're talking about the court. Oh shit. This street got damn freaking holes. Let me get out off this street. What the frick? So they're talking about the Jay-Z situation because there's a, a young man that's saying that Jay-Z is his dad, right? But, and this has been, I guess the little boy was born in 94, five, one of them years. So he's like been trying to take Jay-Z to court for years, um, but Jay-Z, you know, just won't, won't do a DNA test. Won't do a DNA test. His mom has since passed away, um, and now he's taken it to, to the Supreme Court because he doesn't even, he's like, it's not about the money, it's about the principle. Like, I need to know who my dad is because I guess the man that her, his mom was married to turned out not to be his dad, so his mom said that Jay-Z was his dad. So Shirley's reading the thing and then Steve was like, man, if he already did the DNA test and he ain't your daddy, then just leave it alone. Don't take it to the Supreme Court. Um, Steve, you're an idiot. Okay. He ain't never did a DNA test. He's never done a DNA test. He won't do one. And this is why he's taking him to his ass to the Supreme Court. Do you think if that man did a DNA test, that this, this, this young man would still be pressing the issue? No. If he did a DNA test and it said it wasn't his daddy, then I'm almost positive he wouldn't be bothering this man. But he has never done one. So Steve was like, if he, if he did a DNA test and he ain't your daddy, then what's the problem? And then he was like, go talk to your mom. Where your mom at? Where your mom at? His mama's dead. She dead. She dead. She gone. She gone. She's not with us. He done pissed me off. He done pissed me off. See, this is when I feel like I, I, I want to call and leave a message. Because you know they got a Steve voicemail. You can leave a message for Steve. And I feel like I'm going to leave a message for Steve. Okay. So, I had a good Mother's Day. I had a really good one. I bought two bras from the Lane Bryant. Chow. I, I can, still cannot believe I am a D-cup. D-cup wear. Is it because they sagging down to the ground? No. 
I feel like I don't have enough boobages for the D. But I'm still a 38 around. So the, the, the number didn't change, the cup size went up. I'm trying to understand how. Neither here nor there. I'm trying to understand the D cup here. That's what I'm trying to understand. Because I don't feel like I have more boob. I think it's probably because my boobs are saggy. It's more skin. So, you know, they got to fit in. It's more, it's more, uh, it fell down. So that's probably why. Because I am about to go into Sprouts real quick because I want to get one thing specific. Lee, um, but I went to, um, I guess it's called an endocrinologist. It's a dentist, like a specialty dentist today. Um, my dentist referred me to this dentist because I've been having issues for the last couple of months. Um, uh, I just went today to get x-rays and for them to actually like look at the teeth or the, the area um, that's, you know, of concern. So I went and got um, x-rays and now they have to see what my insurance may cover because this is a specialty dentist, but I'm thinking they may cover most, most, because I have a PPO. I usually don't have to pay too much out of pocket when it comes to um, getting dental work done. Um, I did have to pay for an x-ray today because the type of x-ray that they do, my insurance does not cover. They do like what's called a 3D x-ray. My insurance doesn't cover that type of x-ray. So I did have to pay for that x-ray. Okay, it wasn't cheap. Um, so I'm going to just say this. Getting older really does suck. Now, I don't consider myself old. I know I am older. But getting older sucks because things happen. And it's just like, how... How is this happening? How is this happening? Um, there's people that don't take care of their teeth. There's people that don't go to the dentist, don't have insurance, don't go to the dentist. Even if they have insurance, they don't, they, they're scared of the dentist or they just don't go. I go to the dentist every six months. I brush twice a day. I floss all day. I take very good care of my teeth. But when I tell you there's always something wrong with my teeth. <laughs> so, um... I was talking to this this dentist who's like a specialist and I have a lot of bone loss you guys a lot of bone loss but he said that bone loss can be restored so but he said some people just are different than others which I do totally understand but it just boggles my mind what's not adding up to me is I take care of my teeth but they still are like it's not adding up. It's really not adding up. Anyway, so, yeah. Anyway, I got to go in here. I'm going to go in here. I'm only going in here to get um, some Ezekiel bread, but I want the muffins because I don't see them at any other store. Because I want to start, uh, y'all, I need to get back to myself. I really do. Now, I have not calorie counted in over a year. I have not measured food in over a year because I've just been over it because I was doing it for so long I was over it and then I gained like 30 almost 40 pounds and then now I'm down about 30 ish um but I need to get back because I'm not doing what I need to do not just for weight loss just for my health just for me I'm just not doing what I need to do I'm not I'm like pretty much neglecting myself at this point I am neglecting my health I feel like so I'm trying to put my health back in the forefront because it's not so um I'm gonna go back to weighing and measuring food for weight loss but I need to get back to eating food nutritious food for my health so I'm back I'm going back to it so I'm gonna um oh my, my eyebrows are still peeling I don't know if you can see they look really flaky really really flaky but they look good also need to get back into a training routine um a consistent one i need to get back to going to sleep on time and not scroll i just need to set 
thing. I just need to, <laughs> I need to get my shit together. I need to, it, it, because it's affecting my health. Like, I think it's affecting my mental health. I feel like I'm anxious all the time. Um... Okay, you guys, so I went in Aldi because Aldi, I know they used to sell egg bites. I'm really not trying to make these egg bites myself. Um, Stater Brothers had egg bites, but the egg bites were frozen egg bites, and they were like this. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want regular egg bites, um, and I don't want to make them. It looks like I'm going to have to probably make them. Now, I came over to Aldi because Aldi usually sells them, but I didn't see them. I came to Aldi. And I can't even believe I'm up. I came to Aldi. Aldi usually has a, a 50 million baskets. You, you're going to find you a cart because you have to pay for them. So I get up here. There's not one. There's not one. There's no one cart basket. Not one. So I go inside. I'm thinking maybe I haven't been here in a couple of months. Maybe they moved them inside. I go inside. There's none. So I ask the guy. I'm like, hey, where's the baskets? And he's like, oh um they've been getting stolen so if there's none outside you're gonna have to wait for one who's gonna who's gonna be waiting for one i said i'm not waiting for one now i know i can be nitra karen sometimes i really can i can be black karen i really can it's is it the best thing to be doing probably not but um it is what it is okay so i'm like i'm not waiting for a basket like who do you think i am <laughs> so now at that moment i'm done i'm annoyed okay so he's like well you can go up to the front and see if he'll let you take that basket so i go up the front he's like sure so then i'm walking around and that's 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 in my mind one him telling me i could wait for a basket then telling me to go up front instead of him looking for one because he he worked there i don't work there i don't work there he worked there so it's in my mind. I'm looking for the egg bites, but it, it's constantly right here. It's constantly right here. So I didn't see him. So I, I take the basket back to the guy up front. Then I walk myself back to where old dude is. And I said, hey, can I get the number to the district manager that runs this store? And so it was another guy with him that was with him before. They over there chopping it up. They having a good conversation. I mean, good for you and, and do that. But when there's a customer, there's a customer. Stop talking. So I'm like, hey, can I get the district manager's number? The one that's over this store, the manager, whoever is over this store, not the key holder. I don't care about no key holder. So he was like, um, the other guy was like, oh, well, is there something that you, I can help you with? I said, no, unfortunately, no, you can't. 
So, um, and then he's like, well, but what do you need? I said, I understand. I said, I thank you, but I don't need your help. You can't help me with anything that I need to talk to this person about. Are you okay with your store? There was no one in the store. This is where I'm getting it. There was no one in the store. Probably like five, six people. So that means to tell me y'all are okay with having five to six baskets. I don't care if they've been stolen. That's not our, that's not our problem. You need to replenish them. There is no reason for you to have five, uh, probably a total of 10 baskets for the store. That's weird. You need to fix that now. You need to fix that now. So now I'm so annoyed. I said, oh, they didn't listen. All they didn't turn me off, child. So now I'm like, do I go on Walmart? Because I think Walmart might have them. Or do I just go over there and go to uh, go to Albertsons? I think I'm going to go on Walmart. <sighs> I just want these egg bites. If I don't find them here, I might just be might, might, might be making egg bites. I don't want to make, make egg bites. This was the whole point of me buying egg bites. Okay. Oh, she got her ice cream from McDonald's. It look good, girl. It look real good. Yeah, I didn't want to make them. But it looks like I might be making some egg bites. Oh, child. So I'm going to try these. They're a uh, stir-fry kit, but it's just vegetables and stir-fry. So it's 70 calories per half cup and there's three servings in this one and then we have a ginger garlic one and this one is the same three and a half servings but pretty much the same it's just vegetables i'm gonna try that i'm trying to make my life easy at this point easy easy so i'm gonna try that out i never seen that before so we shall see i did not come in here for that came here for egg bites okay so I would think that they would be in this section where like the breakfast meats are and you know cheeses and things of that nature it's not here I'm thinking I'm just gonna have to get a frozen version and then go to Costco or Sam's next week because I don't see them at all they have that I don't want that no no and if I'd known I would have to come here I would have got my turkey bacon that I love so much from here and not from Staters. I mean, it's literally the same, but this turkey bacon is bomb if you've never tasted it. This, y'all, they sell these at Walmart. I guess if you want a tight crunch, chicken breast filet, grilled, plain grilled for $2.47. That's very expensive. I mean, if you, you can pull it, I mean, I guess. Look what they sell. I never thought that this girl would have had this stuff on the shelves. This girl on TikTok used to sell this stuff, but she would make it at home. And I guess it was making people sick or whatnot. She done got it real patent. All right, girl, I heard that. Um, I think I'm gonna go with these because they don't have any meat in them. But how big is it? This is a frittata. What are the damn, is it, how big is it? Let's look at it. Um, what, huh? Uh, I don't want this, I don't want this flavor. Okay, we can do this one. Maybe I'll do. Is it one back here? Let's try one, child. Let's try one. Let's see what the, 70 calories, five grams of protein per serving. I don't know I can make this and probably make it more grams of protein. Hold on. You guys, I found them. I had to come to Albertsons. So I got three. I got two of the spinach and one of this mushroom one. So I'm in here about to season this meat, right? So I put garlic powder on it and then I have this adobo stuff, right? So I'm about to sprinkle it on, but then I see something black inside of it. But I'm like, is that dried kale spinach? And I was about to continue, but then I'm like, wait, that doesn't make any sense for it to be even dried kale or spinach in there. So I take a closer look, because I'm blind. Y'all, why is it two, not one, but two flies in there dead? How did they get in there? So I was like, I'm wondering if they were always in here and just at the bottom. So my son was like, that's why you don't get your seasonings from Dee Dee's. <laughs> Yo, I think they've been in here and look how much I've used. 
Oh, Jesus. Heal it. Heal me. Heal me. Needless to say, this is going in the trash. I'm not using this. Like, how did they? There's no possible way they could have gotten in there. Even if this was open, this stays in the cabinet. Why would they want to go in here of all places? I think, I don't know. I'm just throwing it away. See, I um, don't use, I have been trying to use that seasoning up because I don't really care for it. I'm just going to go back to my garlic salt and my pepper. We just going to go back to the basics because now I'm never, I am never buying a seasoning from a Didi's or Ross, a Marshall's, a T. I'm never in my life doing it again. Morning, you guys. So I made my breakfast well, somewhat. So this is the Ezekiel um, English muffin. I put some of this on here. So I toasted it, put that on there. Oh, and I sprayed some. I can't believe it's not butter. I'm gonna wrap it up. I'm gonna put it in here because when I get to work, I'm gonna warm it up because I like my food hot. Anyway, this is the um, egg bite. I'm gonna put it in here as well. And then I made a piece of turkey bacon. I'm gonna put it right on top. And we're gonna warm this up and assemble it when I get to work. And I think I'm gonna take this banana. I don't know if I want it. Once it starts to get yellow in these spots and stuff, it's over. I'm not eating this, but um, it might taste good. So we'll see. Okay. And for my lunch, I am taking the milk prep. I just prepped one last night. So pretty much it is that um, basmati rice, that stir fry, and then I made some shrimp. So that's what I'm having for lunch. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this with me. This is a Trader Joe's Green Dragon. So, yeah. Oh, and I'm taking these popcorners that I did weigh out. This is 28 grams. So I'm getting there, y'all. Hey you guys, it is Wednesday and I am at work in my same spot, in my broken chair. But I ordered some things for myself. Um, I ordered two things for myself for Mother's Day. I wanted to treat myself, so I bought some things. But one of them came in, so I'm so excited. Uh, hopefully it is the right size, but I just got the thing saying it was delivered and I ran to the door. Um, I ran across this girl's TikTok and she showed these and I immediately went and purchased them. Immediately. So, what is this, a receipt? And it came like this. And it's from Tori Birch. So, here it is. Okay, so, it comes with a, just a blank dust bag. Dad sandals. Now, I am so glad that I was like over there him hawing about the Target ones. I sat on it for about a week and I didn't jump when I saw those. But when I saw these on TikTok, the girl pulled them off. She, the girl bought both colors. I think it was a, the black ones and a cream one. Baby, this is right up my alley. So the bottom is nothing. It says Toy Birch, I wear a size nine. And it has the little emblems there and the little cushion. And it says Tory Burch inside. Y'all, I am glad I bought these because I hem hauled around the, on the Target ones, right? I hem hauled. Wait, how do you put these on? Does this move? I hem hauled on the Target ones, right? But the thing about it is those Target ones are sold out. So if I would've went back today, I'd've been pissed. Also, um, Steve Madden sells like a dupe. I think Chanel has some, and then we got these. I think it's Chanel. I'm not buying those. Okay, I, this is this is my price range. Um, then we have these, and then you know Steve Madden has some as well. I was looking at the Steve Madden ones because Steve Madden has some multicolored ones that I might be getting because I just don't see myself in white or cream sandals. But I can do mo a multicolored sandal. These are black. Let me try one. I could have went down. My toe looks so big. Did they do these come in a half size? Hold on. I wonder if I can get a half size in these. 
So they also come in like a red. I don't, I don't like that color, but you know, if you're a red girl, have at it. Let's see if these come in a half size. Oh, they do come in a half size. I wonder if I should exchange for a half size. Let me show y'all these real quick though. Excuse the mirror. We got Loki back there that licks it in, but they're cute. I don't think I'm gonna get a half size. I think I'm gonna keep them because that's not that big of a deal to me. Look like from the side. They're so cute. I'm wearing these sandals, ow honey. Now the girl that I saw that posted this TikTok, she's not a big person on TikTok. She's not like an influencer. Um, you know how on your For You page, it'll just show you random stuff. When I saw this girl's TikTok, I think it, she probably had like 100 likes on that TikTok. And then my friend sent me the same TikTok, I think, she sent it to me like on Sunday or Monday, and it was at like something K. Like uh, people, people was in there. So this is I say I say all that to say this. I went on the site right now, and all the sizes are still there, but now it says will not ship until July twelfth. So if you're interested, I will put the link down below. This looks cute. Look at my outfit. This is what I have on. I did go to the gym this morning, but I just did cardio. This is not the gym outfit I wore. This is not it. This is just some lounge stuff. So it's a tall shoe. Still amazed how someone's TikTok can blow something the hell up. I mean, TikTok is a blessing and a curse. I've talked to you guys about this before. I'm still pissed off about my lotion. I haven't bought that lotion since it was out of stock. I don't know why it would have shown me that TikTok because I don't usually go to TikTok for fashion clothes stuff. I go to TikTok to be well-informed, okay? Well-informed on political BS that goes on. Self-care things, I like that, and dogs. <laughs> I'm on that side of TikTok, but clothing stuff I don't usually get too often, but it was funny that they showed me that TikTok and I'm glad that they did. Anyway, Ooh, Jesus, what? I have an appointment tomorrow. Child, let me tell y'all something. I still be going to these weight loss classes, right? When I can make the appointments. I don't know. For some reason, I still be missing the appointments. I still am missing the, the weight loss classes appointment. So I had one last week and I forgot all about it. And the girl, the lady that taught the class said, hey, Anitra. I'm like, hey. I don't even know who I'm talking to. I just happened to answer the phone because it was a number that was local. And she was like, do you need me to reschedule your appointment? And I was like, what appointment? Girl, I done missed the damn whole uh, class that I was supposed to be in. Missed the whole thing. I don't even remember it, but usually they send a reminder email that reminds me I I forgot about it. And then the one before that, I didn't forget about it that day, but by the appointment time, I forgot to log on till about four o'clock and it wasn't worth my time to look because they're about to end. So I have one tomorrow at three. Now, Nitra, you got to remember. Y'all, these are the ones I'm looking at. But they have multiple colors in these Steve ones. And Steve's are only... What's the price? I think it was like $80. Yeah, $90. So, $90. And these are the ones I was looking at from Steve. I'm thinking about getting them. But I'm like, do I need those as well if I have these? But I just think that they're cute. Look at them. Those are cute. Good morning, you guys. Um, I'm on my way to Walmart real quick because I need some laundry detergent. I need to wash. So, um, today is a work day, but I'm not at work. I called off. I'm supposed to be in the office. Um, and I called off because <laughs> my hair. Mm -mm, I can't go. Let me tell you something. I will call off for two things anything in my hair whatever in my hair my hair is not right i'm just not gonna go for real like if i wake up i did a twist out the night before and i wake up and it's not right i'm not going to work i'm, not, I'm gonna call off when i come back i'm taking this out my hair i don't think i ever showed you guys the full let me show y'all what it looked like though <clears throat> so this is the full length of it it's cute i cut it actually it was like sitting here it was sitting here, so it's really cute. But the thing about it is this. 
My scalp is real finicky. I have some work dermatitis. You want to go out and pee Oreo? I put any, um, anything in my hair, like braids, protective style. I have to wash the hair. Um, I have to treat my scalp. I always treat my scalp every time I wash it. I use the tea gel shampoo and um, all the rest of the stuff that supposedly treats it. But sometimes when I wear braids, it's fine. Other times it is not. And this is why I do not let... I would love for somebody else to braid my hair, but um, I don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep braids. So because of that, I don't like getting my hair braided by other people because I don't want to waste my money. It's been a week and Saturday will make it two weeks that I've had this hairstyle. It hasn't even been two weeks, so it's about to come out. And this is why I would not. Like, promise you, if my scalp was A-OK, -okay, y'all, people charging like five, $600 for stuff like this. But I would pay because... Um, just so I don't have to do it myself. Like I just, sometimes you just don't want to do stuff yourself. Um, so I did all the things, but my scalp is just acting up. It, it is, is so rough up here because I've been scratching. My braids should not look like this at a two week mark. Every lock has dandruff at the base. Every single one, like you can really see it in this one. Every single lock, you see all that? Like I pull the hair apart and you see the stuff, that's my edge control on there, but every lock has, um, look, it's coming out of it and stuff. Child, it's not like dandruff. It is like that, okay? It is that, yeah, under every single lock. Um, I've, you guys have seen this before. I just threw it on. I'm not going to no gym today. I, again, don't have no bra on. See, I was complaining about having saggy boobs. And then still ain't wearing no bra. I just don't want... Does this look like B, the D cup to y'all? I'm still not convinced that I am a D. <laughs> I'm not trying to grow myself, but... I am not convinced that this is a D cup. But apparently I am, child. Listen, I didn't... Uh, made them saggy. Saggy so much, I gotta wear a damn D. That, that blows my mind. Okay, I don't know why I didn't do this the other day when I came in here looking for... Those egg whites. Um, what kind of again? I always get a different tie, but I stick to tie. I think I'm gonna get the downy. Look how much it is, and it went up. Wow. Let's we gonna get on get these ones. Let me get this. Mine just tore up. Okay, so I also picked up. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I got this, and then we got this for the toilets. This one needs to scrub brush. Disposable gloves. I want disposable ones. I don't want um, a trail. I think these will work. I think I'm gonna get this one. What's this one? Oh, that's power paste. Okay, this one, it's three of them in here, or oh, two. Or six. What oh, have I have never seen the ones with soap in them. I just usually get this re regular one. We're gonna try this one out. Hold on. Y'all, I'm in here buying stuff. <laughs> Let me get one thing and then I'm out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that makes me look. 
get you too out there Baby, you can give for something Baby, I can run all the time Baby, I'm talking crazy I need you right in my space But I need it, baby, I'm late But I still can check in with you I know that I need my friends But I wouldn't wanna leave You know why? But I think I should close out what I did already. Um, I am redoing my hair real, real quick. I bought that Inner Sense. Uh, I create definition, right? This is what I bought. Did my flexi set on. This is what I usually use to do. Child, listen. I think this is for, I don't know if you guys can even see it. I think this is for, <sighs> what am I trying to say? What, what style? A um, wash and go. Wash and go because, baby, when I tell you, it gives a lot of body on steroids. It get, it's the stick. If you've ever used a lot of body and not diluted it, just use straight up a lot of body. Without the baby, it when you're putting it on your hand, your um, your hand and your hair. Like if you leave your hair for like two seconds without touching it to grab a roller honey it's gonna set it's almost giving um aphogy it's almost giving aphogy maybe when i took out the rollers yesterday or this the rods it took me some time to unscrunch the crunch now listen i am going back and i'm really doing another rod set but i'm just wetting my hair because it's white it has white cap. I'm going to try this with a wash and go because my thing is with wash and goes, my hair shrinks. So I think with this, it will stay. I don't do wash and goes, right? So I'm going to stick to doing my rod sets um, and flexi sets with this because this works. Don't get me wrong, but whoa, 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 whoa. I think a lot of girls are doing that for wash and goes, not um, flexis or roller sets. Try at your own risk. If you have like, because I have very thick, my hair is not very coarse, but it's thick. When I say coarse, um, you know what I mean. It's it's thick, but it's not like coarse, but it is coily. Um, it's just not, when I say coarse to the touch, that's what I'm saying. Um, if you have anything less than that, don't try that. Don't. Don't you go ahead and find you use this, use this or any other um mousse because baby, wow, 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 wow. Oh, that's probably why people are using this with the Uncle Funkies because the Uncle Funkies has a slippery, has a slippery touch to it, and I don't really like Uncle Funkies on my hair because it just slippery. It works good. But it it doesn't hold. It just makes it real. The definition pops. That's probably why. I might be visiting Wash and Goes 
in the so near future. If you never see it, that's because I looked like Florida Evans. I promise you. Anyway, let me go because I'm about to have a therapy session. I mean, let me talk fast because it's at nine and it's 8.59. Um, what else, what else, what else? If you're new here and you are subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel. If you aren't new and you're back, hey y'all, I hope all is well. I will see you guys very soon. Wake up. I was close. I, I better to see that that money get washed and gold. I get the 